Hey guys, so I know I said that a survivor's video would be next, and I was going, I was about to make it, and then this popped up, and it would have taken a ton to make me just say, Okay, I'm going to go back on my word. I'm going to not make the Survivor's video next. I was set on that. And I saw this in the news that was being proposed to the owners. But I didn't think it would go through. Uh, now that it has, I just... I have to talk about it. Because it is too big to ignore. I would not feel right just ignoring this. And of course, I'm talking about their new national anthem policy. And I don't like it. I don't like any national anthem policy. If you do, I have something for you later in the video. Don't worry, it's not attacking you. First thing I gotta say is, why? Why are you bringing this up again? Like, people were not talking about it anymore. The issue was going away. Things were settling down. And by bringing this up again, you just reignited everything. You reignited the whole problem. And now you're just stuck in a terrible position like the problem was going away everything was going to be fine and then no you blew it all to shreds like look at trump with stormy daniels he said nothing about that for so long which should have been extremely suspicious with what he normally does but he didn't say anything and while it caught fire for a little bit, what's the last you've heard of it? It's nowhere now. He ignored the issue, and it went away. Had the NFL ignored this issue, it would have gone away. The TV stations, they weren't panning over the players that were kneeling anymore. So your problem was already gone. And... You're just bringing it right back up. That is... I would have expect... Like, you'd think that these extremely smart business owners, these millionaires, people, and people whose job it is to run this thing, that they would be the foremost experts and know how to deal with this. And, again, they blew it. So, the making of any policy was... It's just lighting the fire up again. And another issue I have is, well, what is respectful to the national anthem? Because kneeling on its own is not necessarily disrespectful. Like... Imagine for a moment, Twin Towers just fell, and we're going to go play some football. Before the National Anthem, the players all take a knee. Is that disrespectful? Because they're taking a knee to honor the people that died in 9-11. Is that disrespectful right there? The answer is no. So the act of taking a knee, not an issue. Apply the same thing to linking arms, no disrespect. Raising a fist in the air, no disrespect. In fact, that's honestly the str some of the strongest things and most respectful things you could do. Now you say yes, but they're not doing that for 9-11 victims. Well, they are doing it for someone. 
they're doing it for the people that they believe have been wrongfully killed. And maybe they were, maybe they weren't. Some had drugs in their systems, some didn't. But they believe that those people were innocent in the same way that we believe the people of 9-11 were innocent. Like, for all we know, that was a plane full of convicted murderers and child rapists. For all they know, their guys could be murderers and child rapists. But for all we know, their guys could be saints. So, we have no clue. Now, obvious, so, if that's the case, we just use the presumption of innocence, like we're supposed to, and assume that these were innocent people who died. And that's the same kind of thing that they're doing. Not to mention, they have a historical precedent. There undoubtedly is police brutality going on in America. Now, it's probably much, much less, well, it's definitely much less than it was in the past. Lord knows the Civil Rights era and Jim Crow era were just god-awful for those people. But to say that it's all gone, that it's a non-issue, is pretty foolish, because, trust me, those people that would enact Jim Crow laws, there are some still around, and undoubtedly... There are some issues with the police force. Some, not a ton. And the NFL just has no grounds for saying, hey, you need to be patriotic. Because they're not, they're not playing that anthem because they're patriotic. No, 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 the NFL is not doing this out of the goodness of their heart. You see, back a couple years ago, the U.S. government approached the NFL saying, Hey, you get your players out for the National Anthem, you have these extravagant setups, and you play that National Anthem so that the whole world can hear it, we'll pay you a couple million bucks. So the NFL, it's not doing that stuff because it loves the country. Because it wasn't doing that before. It's doing that stuff because it's getting paid to do that stuff. So they have absolutely no grounds to tell the players how they want this stuff to get done. If they did it out of their own pocket, out of their own expense, they have a better case. I still don't like it, but they'd have a better case. But as it is, no. It's coming out of the government's pocket. And the government runs under the Constitution, which would allow this. Now, does the government actually govern the National Anthem because it paid for it? Or does the NFL do that? This is a pretty gray area because if the government governs it then the kneeling is just fine it's a form of freedom of speech if the nfl governs it then they govern it and they technically have the right to limit them they don't have to enforce freedom of speech but then People are saying that they have to do this patriotically. Roger Goodell, in his statement, said they want the the players to do this in a respectful and patriotic way. Well, in the NFL and how it conducts itself with the rules it sets for its players, if it wants to be as patriotic as possible, what does that mean? To me... One of the absolute most patriotic things, if not the most patriotic thing that a company can do, is make it so that its rules that it has for itself as a moral and ethic code to be as patriotic as possible would be 
the same rules that are in the Constitution. I mean, what could be more patriotic than literally having your rules be the rules of America? There's not much better a company can do than that. So if the NFL wants to be as patriotic as possible, that's how the NFL does it. Now, specific players, they'll be judged on what they do. That's how this works. Colin Kaepernick and Eric Reed, two great examples. They were the first two to start this thing up after being advised to do it by um, a, a war veteran. They were the first two to start it. Colin Kaepernick went on to wear pig socks and promote Fidel Castro. Eric Reed kind of stayed quiet, at least comparatively, and didn't even bring up a collusion case until way further in. And those two different people have been judged in two different ways. Colin Kaepernick, huge media circus around him, not that much talent. As a result of that and the fact that he's kind of a jerk, that's what's kept him out of a job, and that's what kept people from liking him. Eric Reed, much more highly viewed. He's being viewed off of his merits. And if the NFL does that, it'll create a separation between itself and its players, so that backlash over this isn't that bad. And it would have accomplished that by um, letting things progress naturally and not saying anything. Now, another thing I have to talk about is just, well, one of the things I've heard people saying is that these NFL players are representing the NFL, and while they're at their games, while they're playing that national anthem, they represent the NFL and its rules. But I gotta ask, is that how the NFL works? When it comes to fines and suspensions, is that how the NFL does things? And is that even how we view the players anyway? Because, well, let's let's make a little example here. Um, Peyton Manning. He's not playing anymore. He's not on the NFL's jurisdiction anymore. But when you think Peyton Manning, you think football. Occasionally pizza, but mostly football. So he, in a way, he is still representing the NFL. But he's not under the jurisdiction of their rules. But if he's representing the NFL still, just by existing and being who he is, wouldn't that be under the jurisdiction of the NFL? And if you want a case of where the player is still in the NFL, Think of Ezekiel Elliott, and I think it was Jim Rice? It was whoever that play Ravens player was who beat his wife. He was suspended from the NFL for a few games, then I think banned. Now, he didn't do that at the game. He didn't beat his wife senseless at a game. He did that off-field. So... If the NFL players represent the NFL at the games, but have the freedom to say whatever they want outside of it, like a lot of people who are against the National Anthem protest suggest, why is the NFL even doing anything about I, the Ravens player? Because the law is going to get him. He's going to get his punishment. He's going to do his time. He's going to pay his dues. And then that'll be that. The law will say, okay, you paid up. You did what we wanted you to. You're free. No more prejudices. Done. And it says that because in our Constitution, it kind of says that you cannot be punished, or I think charged is what they say, but that leads to punishment, twice for the same crime. And they have that in place for a very good reason. 
Now, as I said before, if the NFL wants to be as patriotic as possible, shouldn't they abide by that? Shouldn't they just see what the law says about this and say, yes, we trust you. We think that you do a good job, and therefore we think you did a good job. This came most strongly in the Ezekiel Elliott case. Like A former girlfriend claimed that he beat her. The police decided there was nothing to investigate, that it was mostly made up, and looking at the tweets, I'd have to agree, but that's a story for another day. Well, what the NFL did is they investigated anyway, ignoring what the police said because apparently they don't trust the police, which not very patriotic. And not only did they have to launch their own investigation in spite of what the police told them, this was something that happened before he was even drafted, before he was even in the NFL. I mean... Do they actually have the right to punish you for something you did before you even went there? Well, yeah. If you even did it before you went there, do they have the right to punish you? Let alone if you maybe did, maybe didn't. The NFL says it does, and that just seems wrong to begin with. But what made it even worse is the NFL decided that Elliot was guilty of beating his girlfriend. Which completely goes against what the police report says. And from there that leaves us two really crappy options. The first is the NFL didn't actually find anything and just wanted to make an example of this guy and so convicted an innocent person on purpose. Like, that is bad. That is really bad. That's about as unconstitutional and unpatriotic as you can get. The other one? The other one's actually way worse, I think, is that they actually found evidence that says, yes, Elliot did do it. And why is that worse? Well, for one, then a girlfriend actually got beat. For two, they found that evidence and did not bring it to the attention of the police that they found the evidence. And remember, Elliot wasn't charged. There was no investigation. There was no jury. So if new information is brought to them, like the NFL apparently got, then they have to open up that case, investigate again, charge him, and put him in front of a jury. That didn't happen. So the NFL, if it's right, if it actually found evidence, is hiding said evidence from the police. Which, I'm going to say, is not a very patriotic thing to do. So why, in either case... Why the NFL is telling players they need to be more patriotic is beyond me, because it has no room to talk. Like, if it was fine, if it was patriotic, then it has room to talk, then it is holier than thou. But holy crap, it is not. It is black, it is dark, and it is crappy. And it has no right to tell these players how they're supposed to act. It's like America telling some other country to get rid of its nukes. We have so many. How can we tell them to do that? It makes no sense. And, okay. Let's say, after all this, after any of it, that you say, okay, I know the NFL definitely shouldn't be saying any of this, but players still shouldn't be kneeling for the National Anthem. Okay, let's roll with that. This rule is still not for you, because holy crap, have you read this thing? 
Like, it is scary. It is the kind of rule Hitler would have passed. Stalin would have passed it. All the bad guys want to pass this rule. Because it is so vague. Like, it says you have to stand for the national anthem and you cannot show disrespect for the flag. What is disrespect? It doesn't say. And because it doesn't say, it's up to the commissioner to decide when disrespect has been committed. And he doesn't have to explain his reasoning. So, we now have a rule in place where the commissioner can find someone that he just doesn't like and he doesn't have to explain it. He doesn't have to say how they were disrespecting the flag. He can just say that they were. And no one will bat an eye. I, I do not like Goodell. Most people do not like Goodell. This rule... This rule on its own is terrible because it gives him the kind of power that uh, all the bad guys in all the movies want to have. It is just insane what he can do with this now. Like, do you like Ben Roethlisberger? Goodell doesn't. Goodbye, Ben. You're out. And... It is that vague. You read it, there is no defining anything. And in law, in actual law, we are supremely careful with how we craft the wording of things. Like, my law teacher actually told me about a meeting she was in, spectating on, I think, where this group of seven people dedicated to writing out laws that will be enacted or finding better wording for ones that are already there spent four hours on one word trying to figure out what it should be because all these different variations would create vastly different results. That is how careful you have to be when crafting a law or a rule. And the NFL left this so vague that it can so easily be abused by someone that's in power. Like, Goodell was called a dictator before. This, this allows him to be now. He doesn't have to be questioned about anything. It is so vague. It is just painful to see this. Like, whether you want this ban on kneeling or not, this is... This is not the rule you want. And I hope that at the very least it gets heavily edited. And, good God. I think it goes without saying that a dictator isn't exactly the most patriotic thing.